Hello and welcome to sallyhughesbeauty.com. Um, thank you for visiting. I recently did a shout out on the forum and asked people what they would like a video on that I haven't already covered. And I was really surprised that lots of people asked for this one. Um, it's a really simple and straightforward thing, but obviously something that people are um, struggling with a bit. It's about colour matching, blusher and lipstick. Now, I just want to say, to add the disclaimer, that this is not a rule. This is, you can do what you like, you can wear whatever colour you want, but it is my opinion that matching your lips and your cheeks um, looks much better than clashing them. So if you, my thinking behind this is that if you look at, say, pictures from the 80s or those kind of classic Robert Palmer videos, you will see that the women have um, a red lip and then a kind of orange cheek. So they have this sort of tan cheek and then a bright red lip. And to me that jars. Um, the reason it jars is because they've both got, um, they've each got separate undertones. So the red has a kind of pinky undertone and the blusher has a brownie orange undertone. And it immediately, I think, makes makeup look very, very dated. The other reason I don't like it is that as much as I absolutely love blusher and I see it as one of the most important steps in makeup, one of the jobs of blusher is to get you from A to C. So if you have a completely different colour here, there's this sort of jarring thing where it goes to lips and you kind of have to readjust because it's a different thing. When your cheeks are the same tone as your lips, the transition from say blue, green, some kind of crazy colour on your eye, or even, you know, dark brown or black, to here is a smoother transition if you have something basically the same colour on your cheeks. Having said that, just because I think it needs to be the same colour doesn't mean it needs to be the same shade. So I'm not saying you have to exactly colour match like here, for example. So this is the most perfect colour match ever. So this is Tom Ford Frolic Lip Shine, which I wear loads, and Bobbi Brown Pink Coral Blusher. Perfect, perfect match. They are basically the same colour and they look great together. But you don't have to do that because that's a nightmare to constantly be matching things up. You just need to be in the same colour family. So for example, if you're wearing a peachy um, toned lipstick, it could be something as pale as the Tom Ford or as dark as this, which is Laura Mercier Meyer. Um, they are both in the same colour family because they have corally peach undertones. So you could wear that lipstick and that blusher. They both have the same peachy undertones. Or you could wear this blusher, especially if you had very dark or black skin. This looks amazing on black skins, not good on pale skins. But you could wear this very dark blusher and you could wear this bright, bright coral lipstick. They're not the same colour, but they're in the same family. That's all you have to do. So as I mentioned, peach, coral, lipsticks with a peach or coral blusher of any combination. Any of these lipsticks can be worn with any of these blushes. Nudes, so a nude is characterised by something with a base of skin tone in it, whether that's chocolate brown or um, ivory or anything that can, could conceivably be the colour of skin at its base is a nude tone. So these are all nude toned lipsticks. They've all got a bit of brown in them, a bit of pink in them. All of these blushes are the same. So while this is a sort of golden brown tone, and this has a bit more pink in it, they are both nude tones, as are these lipsticks. So you could take a very dark nude, like Bobbi Brown Nude, and you could take that, and they would look great together. Again, the combination can be mixed up completely, as long as the foundation of the color is the same. Now, the one area where people do get confused is with red lipstick because the vast majority of women don't really want to wear red blusher. Um, I kind of quite like a red blusher sometimes but it is a very specific kind of quite dolly Aunt Sally look. What I always do there is main staying in the same colour family but going to pink. So if you're wearing a red lipstick like any of these here, I would wear a pink toned blusher, so Nars Orgasm. You can see how often I use that because I wear red lipstick a lot. Um, this bright pink, this Liz Earl pink here, Love Lust from Tom Ford. Anything that's pink in tone goes with a red lipstick, whatever basis your red has. Equally, if you're going to wear hot pink or berry colours, as we have here, I would still go with a pink toned 
cheek. You can wear a hot pink blusher if you want, but again, lots of women wouldn't want to do that because it's quite a bold look. So there's nothing to stop you having a sort of subtle, pretty pink like this with a hot pink lip because they are both based in pink and so it works. Um, Again, like I say, you can totally, totally match if you want. So this is Nars Shap, and you could use Gaiety Blusher, which is almost identical, and that's quite fun. But you could equally go for a much softer blush. The idea is that you're not switching, you're not adjusting your gaze as you move up the face, that it's more of a fluid transition. I hope that makes sense. Um, I know lots of people are confused by this um, in a way that I hadn't quite realised, so I hope that clears it up. Um, but any questions at all, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments section. Thanks very much. Bye.